okay now i'm going to download the snip eff binaries so let's go to the download page this is the page and i'll leave the link to this page in the description box so here we are going to download the latest so we will use this link here so because i'm going to download on the terminal i'll get a download link but you can also click it all right so i'm going to get a download link so i'll right click and then i'll click on copy link and then i'll move to the terminal and then i'll download it so i'll see the gets and then i'll paste the link there so let's execute this command all right so the file has been downloaded it's a zip file so after it has downloaded we will start the contents okay the file has been downloaded so let's do an ls we are going to find it here so now we are going to extract the contents so i'll say unzip and then i will supply the file name so let's execute this command all right so we can see the activity now we have extracted the content so i'll play the screen first i'll do an ls i'm going to find the directory snip eff so you can ls into it and then you'll find some directories and files all right so we have our jar we have this we have this we have all of these all right now let us do a quick test so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to run snip eff this is a java file, so that means i need a java all right so the quickest way to check if you have java is to type java and you can even say dash dash version like this so let's execute this command so i'll execute it and then if you should have java installed then you have some information being split for you all right alternatively you can install snip eff using anaconda or mamba or macro mamba all right but just make sure to have java installed and then download the jar file so this is a quick info about how to set snip eff on your system let's just do a quick test on snip eff i'll just say java dash jar and i'll say snip eff slash snip eff dot jar all right, so if i do it i'm going to get this text being displayed so once we have this displayed that means that everything is okay so that's it now let's proceed let's clear the screen let's run ls again and then proceed